sounds like we have another update on Stuart Haas Racing coming through the rumor mill. And this is some big news here, Stuart Haas, for 2025 and beyond. Hello everyone, my name is Kyle, aka Racing Boy Short, and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news, and everything NASCAR. If you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week. Also, give me your thoughts on this video. What do you think of the future of Stuart Haas Racing? Also, give me any improvements I can make on the channel. All right, this has been a talking point for not just this season, but last season as well. There's been ongoing rumors and talks of Stuart Haas looking to sell some charters, possibly even move manufacturers, even some discussions about them potentially even leaving the sport altogether. It's been no secret the last couple of years have been really tough for Stuart Haas Racing as they've went down in their performance over the last couple of seasons. And I've mentioned here on the channel, I think this season they've stepped up a little bit, but they're still not as strong as you'd hope and think they'd be. They are a four-car organization, and they did win a championship, but there's been a lot of conversations mainly about them potentially selling charters. There's been a couple of teams named that are looking to potentially grab another charter and upgrade their team, if you will. This includes Trackhouse, 2311, Front Row Motorsports, even some Dale Jr. talk as always. So one of those teams I mentioned that's looking to upgrade is Front Row Motorsports, also a Ford team. Stuart Haas Racing is looking to downsize, also a Ford team. The big rumor is, right now... I love rumors. ...that Stuart Haas Racing could potentially merge with Front Row Motorsports. And the rumor initially started after a couple of comments from Bob Pockris, Fox reporter. I, I love Bob. I've met him once before. He's a great dude. He does so much for the sport. He's the hardest working man in NASCAR easily. I'm going to put these two quotes up and you can read them yourself and judge them yourself. What I got from that quote was that Bob is kind of making a suggestion. I don't think he's necessarily breaking news that this could happen. I think he's making a suggestion that this could possibly happen and it's not out of the realm of possibility. I think one of the big factors here is if Tony Stewart and Gene Haas want to stick with Ford, if they want to stick with Ford, this could be a potential good move on their part. Their Ford contract ends at the end of the season, so they have to decide if they want to stay with Ford or move on to a new manufacturer. And this rumor kind of goes along with what's been said, especially on Door Bumper Clear, that this silly season is already ramping up and it could potentially get really, really crazy. And this move right here would be really crazy, not unprecedented. We have had other teams merge in the past. I can remember Dale Earnhardt Incorporated with Chip Ganassi all those years ago. And honestly, I can see this. I can see this move working. I can see it happening. I think one of the big questions is who stays and who goes. The way this would end up working, two teams from Front Row and two teams from Stuart Haas. That's how it would have to work, I would assume. The front row motorsports drivers would continue to be Michael McDowell and Todd Gilliland. But Stuart Haas have to cut their team from four to two. And in my opinion, the two they keep is obvious right now, and that's Noah Gregson and Chase Briscoe. Chase Briscoe has been there the longest. He does have a win, and he's been the most proven driver in the Cup Series out of these four drivers, while Noah Gregson is having a phenomenal sophomore season then you have ryan priest and josh berry josh berry is a rookie he seems to be struggling a little bit i don't know if it's necessarily the chemistry overall the team as a whole still isn't performing as well as they would like so that could be a big factor as well and then ryan priest i'm not sure what's up with ryan priest i consider ryan priest to be one of the most talented race car drivers in all of nascar but for some reason He's just never hit his stride in the Cup Series. The only moment that I can think of where he actually looked like he could be a legitimate contender 
in the Cup Series is when he led all those laps at Martinsville last season. Other than that one moment at Martinsville, Ryan Priest hasn't done anything in the Cup Series, and he hasn't proven to me at all that he's a contender, which is unfortunate. Like I said, I think Ryan Priest is possibly a top 10, top 15 talent-wise out of the Cup Series, but it's either the car, the organization, something is not working for Ryan Priest, and honestly, him and Stuart Haas should just go their separate ways. And you even saw with this week that the other three Stuart Haas drivers actually started up a little bit of a study group and didn't even include Ryan Priest. A little bit of high school drama, if you will. With the rumors going around that Stuart Haas and Front Row could potentially merge, I mentioned that Stuart Haas could potentially leave Ford. I wouldn't be surprised if they're having these talks with other race teams to potentially merge with them. Maybe even a Dale Earnhardt Jr. That would be awesome. And there is a lot of teams in the market looking to purchase charters. But right now, the future of the NASCAR charter system is so high up in the air, we don't know if we'll even have charters next year. So a merge kind of makes sense. So my final thoughts on this rumor, and I want to make it clear, this is only a rumor. Bob did not confirm anything. He was just making a suggestion that this could be a possibility. I'm all for it. I'm all for this happening. I think this could only improve both organizations. One thing I am worried about is the Stuart Haas Xfinity program and the Front Row Truck Series program and what happens with those. Do they get upgraded? Do they go away? What happens? That's one thing I'm very curious about. But overall, if they announce this tomorrow, I would be very happy and very excited for both of these race teams because I think it would improve both of them. But at the same time, I would feel a little upset when it comes to a driver like a Ryan Priest or Josh Berry or Noah Gregson or Ch even Chase Briscoe if any of those four drivers would to get released from their contract at the end of this season. But let me know your thoughts on this juicy rumor about Stuart Haas Racing potentially merging with Front Row Motorsports. I'm, I'm excited to see what happens. I'm excited to see what the future is for Stuart Haas Racing because I know they want to get back to their winning ways. I know they really want to do that. Gene Haas and Tony Stewart are really frustrated, I bet, at this point. But that'll do it for this video. If you notice the weekly rundown, I'm going to try to do it a little different. Instead of putting a bunch of different stories in one video, I'm going to try to give each story its own individual video. Maybe a couple of the little tiny stories might get their own video. We'll have to see. But I am trying stuff a little bit different. Let me know what you think. Give me all your opinions in the comments about this rumor, about my channel, about the video. Let me know all your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching. My name is Kyle, a.k.a. Racing Boy Short, saying peace.